Hi, I'm the embodiment of the Force. And this story is Star Wars, the whole truth about the rule of two Sith. So, Darth Bane and his apprentice, Darth Xana, came up with a plan for the Sith to rule the galaxy again, but not under the rule of two. Instead, the Sith would rule as many. It started when Darth Bane learned the spirit transfer ability. This was a mighty force power that ensured a user could shift his or her spirit into another body at the moment of their death. So Darth Bane realized that he could rule the galaxy forever. So Darth Bane created a second holocron, which was designed to store a Dark Lord's essence. It pretty much collected a copy's worth, which consisted of a Sith Lord's memories, experiences, and force knowledge. So the force essences would have an identity of their own, which would more than mimic a Dark Lord's personality. So Dark Bane made his master plan ready by putting his essence into that holocron, and it had plenty of room for many more Dark Lords. Then Darth Bane taught the spirit transfer as well as the essence transfer power to his apprentice, Darth Xana, as she remained focused through his counsel. Bane then replied that all Sith that abide under the rule of two must place their force essences inside of the special holocron as it is passed down through generations to other Sith Lords. Bane next replied that all those Siths would eventually live again under his command, but only after the rule of two had seized control over the entire galaxy. Darth Xana then replied, but master, how will this come about if a later Sith seizes victory? Bane then smiled and said, those that so easily abide under a rulership aren't truly befitting to rule. Next, Xana is seen nodding in agreement. Bane then replied about creating suitable bodies for all of the spirit essence transfers. Darth Bane then remarked that the advancements of cloning and Sith alchemy may prove most effective in their attempts at immortality. Darth Xana then is seen replying, yes, master, so how do we begin? Then Lord Bane is seen giving his apprentice a thorough rundown of his set plan. He then hands that essence holocron to Xana and says, this holocron I entrust to you, my apprentice, and your apprentice you'll entrust to as well. Now Darth Xana is seen appearing shocked. So Bane touches her shoulder and says, patience will gain us an empire. For which will stand an eternity as a remainder. And such treasures it would bring us that none would have that none would have ever thought possible. Now we leap ahead and see Zana killing her master. Now we move ahead again and see this newly crowned master, Sif, taking her own apprentice called Dark, Darth Cognis. We then watch Xana transfer some of her spirit essence into that holocron, just like her former master did. This is also 
a teaching lesson for her female apprentice to learn, and also a final lesson which completes her self training in full. Now we see Zana talking to her student, Cognis, as she explains the when and why to her. Darth Zana then says to her, we are not ready to retake the galaxy, and it might be quite some time before we Sith can vanquish the Jedi and take control. Then Xana's apprentice is seen looking very curious as she replies, yes, master. Then Xana says all Sith of the rule of two will place their essence into this holocron until one day they are reborn again. We then see Darth Cognis reply, but for what purpose, master? So Darth Xana responds, so that our order may reap the spoils for their labors. We then see Zana hand the holocron to her apprentice for safekeeping, like her deceased master did when he first gave it to her. Zana's self student is then seen accepting it much graciously, as she says, I won't fail you, my master. Then Xana's apprentice so suddenly says, but master, the rule of two will not govern the galaxy. So Darth Xana is seen replying, no, the rule of two was only established to retake this galaxy because two of so few couldn't possibly rule over such a vast territory. Now Xana's apprentice is seen responding, so the rule of two was meant to eventually accumulate into many. Why, yes, my apprentice, then is seen replying, Lord Zana. Now Zana is seen further explaining that the end fighting between the previous multitude of Sith caused their order to collapse at times when their numbers were more than enough to overwhelm the Jedi as well as any other foes that stood in their way. Thana, Zana then says, so Bane started our rule of two in order to build discipline and to determine whom among Sith were really suited to follow and rule until proven otherwise. Now Xana's apprentice is seen replying, so master, those multitude of Sith had proven unaffected at working together for our common gold. We then see Darth Xana respond, yes, very good, my apprentice. Xana next replies, those greater numbers of Sith were too self-centered, so very few of them were willing to abide under a greater authority, which comprises of wisdom, power, and patience. She is then seen walking off with her apprentice, and then the scene leaps ahead. Now we see Zana's apprentice, Dark Cognis, place her essence into the holocron. And then we soon get a view of her apprentice named Darth Millennial. Then all of a sudden things appear to shift ahead in time as Darth Cognus is heard talking to her own. We then witness future Siths placing their essences into that special holocron as we hear Zana's former apprentice say, my wise apprentice, Millennium, when our order of pure Sith have retaken the galaxy, these essences will be released into new bodies so that this Sith council will reign over the very fabrics of existence 
and our master, Lord Bain, will again rule as he had intended. Next, we soon hear Darth Cognis say, the more recent of the abiding Sith will be positioned behind the Sith, which established our rule of two, because a follower merely abides under a properly structured system as most recents tend to do, but a true leader is an originator who perfects that very system for generations to abide under. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of this story.